So the question was how much of that, that stormtrooper whack-a-mole, which I love that description, was me and, and how much was a, a, a properly trained stunt double. <laughs> this is a fun story. Um, so <laughs> I, so we're, we're basically doing like a feature on a TV schedule, which uh, I learned means that uh, even if you want to do your own fights, um, <laughs> not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So, um, I got the script for that episode like two weeks before we were gonna shoot it, and I, I approached Ryan, who was our Emmy Award winning uh, stunt coordinator, and I was like, Ryan, I, you know, what do I need to do? I wanna, I would love to be able to do this fight. I'm willing to train, you know, however much. And he kind of pat me on the back and he said, oh, that's so cute. Um, he said, do you have any martial arts training? And I said, no, but you know, I, I, w I will do it. And he was like, okay, we got two weeks. Um, he said, well, great. If you would like to train for the next two weeks, you know, maybe we could use you for some transitions, but um, I'm sorry, there's just no way that you could pick up everything you need to pick up to do this fight, you know, what we have in mind. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna do it. So I did um, train with somebody in Kali, which was the, the martial art that it was based in. And that was, that was tremendously satisfying for me, you wow. know, to get a, a kind of a new vocabulary of movement to know what, how the fight was gonna be. And I picked up as much as I could um, and did like <laughs> the beginning and the end. And then I was not there when they shot it. Lauren, Lauren Mary Kim was my stunt double for that fight. So I didn't actually see it until the episode aired. So imagine me, not having seen this fight, sitting there on the sofa with my husband <laughs> and knowing, you know, what the beginning was, um, having shot the beginning and, and knowing that they like, you know, boink me on the head and, um, <laughs> and then watching this fight unfold. <laughs> and I just sat there with my mouth open and my husband just sat there with his mouth open. And when the fight concluded, he, he said, uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna go do the dishes now. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Now I understand. You know, if I had tried to, you would have seen me work really, really hard, and you would have said, wow, she is trying so hard. She's trying real hard, but it would not have looked like that. So I have to give credit where credit is due. And they did that fight, they did, it was all one take every single time they shot it. Um, and she, I, I have gotten to, to be at a few conventions with Lauren and she is absolutely lovely. And she's also doubled, she did um, some fights for uh, um, Ahsoka in season two of The Mandalorian and um, she's doubled uh, a bunch of people that, that you love. Um, she's tremendously talented, and my, I bow down to her because she made the armorer look like a badass. So, so I, I like to, and, and when you're on a feature, um, you tend to have like months and months that you can prepare and train, and so you can, you have more of a chance to do the fights, but you just don't have this, the time when you're shooting TV. But um, I do, when I can, I like to at least, you know, learn the sequence. Um, and in Boba, I did like learn that whole training sequence and got to run it and shoot some of it. And then there was also a stunt double who, um, who shot it because it was like up, they were shooting it up high on this catwalk and they didn't want me to fall off and hurt myself and then delay shooting. So there's all sorts of reasons why. But it's great as an actor when you get to learn it and because it's all it's all vocabulary for your character you know it's it's um it's another language it's a language of the movement so it, it gives you information for how your character exists in the world and it's just fun